Good day. I am Sarah Nehir Nazim. I am here to present a case of syncope in the Nakowski setting. I present this case with a problem-based approach, and this video is a part of StarMed Medical Education Program, and it is strictly for educational purpose. And I'm excited to walk you through this important topic. Okay, let's now start with the case. A 70 years old Steve Jose comes to your clinic because he was having dizziness for more than 12 days. Please take a focus history in eight minutes. And at eight minutes mark, the examiner will ask you some questions. So definition of syncope. Syncope is a medical condition characterized by a temporary loss of consciousness and posture, commonly caused by inadequate blood flow to the brain. This state is frequently recognized as fainting or passing out. The causes of syncope can be due to a drop in the blood pressure, a decrease in the heart rate, or a decrease in the blood flow. It is usually brief and resolves spontaneously once blood flow to the brain is restored. However, syncope can sometimes indicate a more serious underlying medical condition requiring medical evaluation and treatment. The presentations of syncope. Episodes of blacking out, lightheadedness, unexplained falls, dizziness, fainting, particularly after eating or exercising, feeling unsteady or weak while standing, changes in vision such as seeing spots or tunnel vision. Types of syncope dizziness, cardiac syncope, rhythm disturbance, dysrhythmia, ischemia, myocardial infarction, structural abnormalities, lip ventricular or protract obstruction like aortic stenosis, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, aortic dissection, and other cardiomyopathy. Reflex syncope, vasovagal syncope, triggered by emotional stress, pain, or dehydration. Situational, a type of vasovagal that occurs in specific situations, for example, coughing, swallowing, or urinating. Carotid sinus syncope, fainting episodes triggered by minor stimuli to the carotid sinus, such as shaving, wearing neckties. Orthostatic syncope, it's due to the sudden drop in the blood pressure when standing up. Neurogenic syncope, due to stroke and vascular insufficiency. Medication causing syncope, like calcium channel blocker, beta blocker, digoxin, drug causing QT prolongations. Presentation of dizziness, cardiac or reflex syncope, gives lightheadedness, feeling of blacking out. Certain ear problems gives vertigo, spinning sensation, and patient feels dizzy. Central nervous system pathology causes disequilibrium, which gives feeling of unsteadiness and patient feels dizzy. Some red flags of syncope. Certain findings need to be ruled out, which are suggestive of serious consequences. Exertional syncope, multiple episodes over a brief period, focal neurological symptoms or sign, suspected transient ischemic attack or minor stroke, Sudden unilateral hearing loss, new and severe onset of headache, heart murmur or other indication of structural heart disease, elderly individuals, serious injury during a syncope episodes, positive family history of sudden unexpected death, unexplained recurrent syncope or seizures. Now history taking. When evaluating a patient with complaints of dizziness, it's crucial to clarify the nature of the symptom to guide our assessment. We want to determine whether the patient is experiencing episodes of blacking out or near fainting, sensation of spinning or vertigo, or feeling of unsteadiness or imbalance. Clarify what do you mean by dizziness. Can you tell us about the onset of your symptoms? Was the dizziness sudden or did it come on gradually? How would you describe the course of your symptoms? Do you experience dizziness on and off, or is it continuous throughout the day? How frequently do you experience these episodes compared to before? Has there been any changes in the frequency? Could you describe the duration of each episode of dizziness? Are there any factors that seem to make your dizziness worse? Do any factors alleviate it? Does the dizziness occur with specific activities such as training, urinating, or changing the position? Has the dizziness ever caused you to lose consciousness? Have you ever fallen to the floor and hit your head? 
Now let's explore the associated symptoms that can provide important clues to the underlying cause of dizziness. For cardiac related symptoms, inquire about chest pain, nausea, or vomiting. Consider ruling out conditions like atherosclerotic diseases. For orthostatic hypertension related symptoms, rule out recent episodes of diarrhea, any dehydration. Rule out diabetic neuropathy by asking for any history of diabetes or any sensations of heaviness eating after eating. Ask about certain medications, particularly antihypertensive, contribute to dizziness. So need to rule out any hypertensive medication or any changes in the doses or in the medications or taking any SSRI, TCA or diuretics. Also, it need to rule out anemia as well. Neurological symptoms including history of stroke, loss of consciousness, motor weakness, speech disturbance or headaches are critical to assess. Symptoms suggestive of complex partial seizure, such as unusual test, feeling of oddness, deja vu, lip smacking or chewing, and abnormal movement like limb jerking are also important to explore. Lastly, recent stress or mood disturbances can also contribute to dizziness. Moving on to constitutional symptoms, these are important to consider as they indicate underlying systemic issues. Any history of fever recently? night sweat or chills, or unintended weight loss recently. We need to ask about overall health in general. Also, ever had any similar symptoms before? Any previous history of hospitalization or any surgeries? Any history of current medication, including over-the-counter, are also crucial to know. Is there any family history similar sim or with similar symptoms or ongoing health issues that might be relevant? personal or social history, asking about smoking, alcohol, and use of recreational drugs. Syncope evaluate for potential causes including cardiac, neurological, or orthostatic etiologies, rule or seizure activity, stroke, or any head injury. It's important to conduct a thorough physical examination focusing on cardiac murmurs and CNS signs. We need to consider some investigations. The investigations are ECG, halter monitor, echocardiogram, orthostatic vital signs to detect orthostatic hypertension, certain blood tests like CBC, electrolyte, glucose, renal function test, cardiac marker like troponin I, tilt table test, EEG if seizures are suspected, neuroimaging if brain abnormalities are suspected, ambulatory blood pressure monitoring for hypertension assessment, sleep studies for sleep related causes. Management of syncope depends on underlying cause and often involves the following approaches. Determine the ma and manage triggers such as dehydration, medication, or postural changes. Lifestyle modification, encourage adequate hydration, avoid triggers like sudden movements or prolonged standing, heat or emotional stressors, and maintain balanced diet. Wearing compression, stocking, improves blood circulation. Medication, use of medication as needed such as beta blockers for vasovagal syncope or anticoagulant for embolic stroke prevention if indicated. Implantable devices, consider pacemaker or in implantable cardio defibrillator for certain cardiac and arrhythmias. Cardiac rehabilitation for those with heart disease or cardiovascular risk factors. Education and counseling, educate patients about symptoms and warning signs and provide instructions on when to seek medical help. Regular monitor symptoms and adjust management as necessary. Refer to specialists such as cardiologists, neurologists, and electrophysiologists for further evaluation and management. The specific management plan depends on individual patients, clinical presentation, underlying condition, and diagnostic findings from investigation. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Starmet.